Yo, what is up, Bang Squad? Welcome back to another video. So, you guys read the title. We got another coin making method today, but today is a little different because this is a method for those people out there who don't have a lot of coins, who are struggling, who uh, just maybe got the game. I don't know why you just got the game this late, but maybe you did, and you're just trying to figure out how you can have a good team and have some good coins stacked like I do. So, it's pretty much, I'm going to show you guys how you can go from zero to a million coins in about... I would say a couple of days all right two or two days if you're doing it for if you're doing it really like grinding it you really can make it in a day uh, it just really depends so the first thing is that when you have zero coins right if you don't have zero coins uh, go ahead and skip ahead because we're pretty much just going over some solo challenges that are the best way to make coins if you are wondering what solo challenges do make coins is the best then stick around all right so we're gonna go over them real quick so the solo challenges that you do want to do okay there's only a couple that really are even profitable. Uh, if you are new, there is a lot of uh, solo challenges you can do to get a lot of Nat stuff. Like uh, you do the Madden Bowl, you can get a 95 Nat. You do the Draft Pack, you get a bunch of other Nats. My trailer keeps coming disconnected. Uh, as it, okay, hold on, guys. <clears throat> you can do the Gauntlet right here, which is also going to give you uh, some Nat players as well as some packs. You can definitely do that. Uh, free agency gives you a nat, combine gives you a nat, stuff like that. But we're, we're here to figure out how to make coins, right? First thing, best solo challenge right here to make coins is the ultimate legend. Watch. You see there's so many, right? There's 15 of them you can do, right? Pretty much what you do right here is you do this one. Don't do the kickoff. You just want to do the power-ups, the two power-ups, and then you want to do the ultimate legend showdown. What this is going to do is going to give you the Randy Moss power-up, the Champ Bailey power-up, and then an ultimate legend showdown. Uh, it's going to give you a piece between Randy Moss and Champ Bailey. Uh, it's no high piece. It's only low pieces, but that's still going for about, especially if you get like the 91 Moss, that's probably going to be about 15K. And you do this for literally every single ultimate legend. So you can do these for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all of them, right? So I recommend doing that. Another one you can do is you can do these power ups right here. Uh, you complete these; these give you power ups. I would go look up to see what power ups what they're going for uh, and see if any of them are worth doing. I would recommend probably the ones worth doing. Mark Andrews might be worth doing. Uh, that's probably it, honestly. Uh, Reggie Moster maybe. Um, and then another one is obviously you can do all the gauntlets. And then you go down to the legends right here. You can get a lot of legend power ups, and a lot of legends power ups do go for a decent amount of coins. Uh, so yeah, I just go ahead and look through the power ups. So all these, you see all these challenges right here. Each one of these will give you a power up. Uh, it is a full game, so pretty much just run shoot clock. Go ahead and run the clock out of here. So uh, a free uh, power up of whatever players go look at the power ups. I know Christian Akwe is definitely usually very expensive. Uh, I think Brian Dawkins is also another expensive one, especially today uh, and I guess yesterday, but that's obviously too late. Uh, power ups are more expensive because the top cards do go down, so the power ups do go up. Pretty much, I would recommend playing these solo challenges and stuff until you get to around 75 to 100,000 coins. Also, rank up, level up. Uh, there's gonna be a video up there on the screen, or not video, but a little card up there. If you have not reached max level, uh, mutt level, go do it. It is the most beneficial thing you could possibly do. A uh, little up there is gonna show you guys how you can do that the fastest. All right, so you went ahead, you got yourself up to around, let's say, um, 75 to 100,000 coins. What do you do from here? Well, I'm glad you guys uh, virtually asked, at least that's what I'm thinking you guys are thinking. You're doing the good old get a player method, the tried and true, the method that works for everyone no matter what, the get a player method. So, most of you guys should know what this is. If you don't, don't worry, we're going to show you guys how to do this. This is the method you're probably going to do from, get from 100 to probably around, I would say, 250-ish, get to 100 to get to around 250. So, what are you going to do? You're going to open up these packs, all right? So, say you have 100K, go ahead and open about all 100K, uh, open up at 50K. Uh, it's pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to open up these packs. You're going to put these into sets to pull different cards that are going to give you profit, as well as you're going to be able to pull good stuff out of this. You're going to be able to pull leads out of this. You're going to be able to pull coin quick. You're going to be able to so, uh, full coin quick sellers, you're gonna full expensive power up, you can fill all this good stuff on this pack. You see right here, we actually go to the view info, you have an 8.3% chance to pull an elite. It's pretty, it's not bad. And we done it pretty much every like 12, 13 packs, you just pull an elite. Uh, that's not bad. And you can actually pull some good elites overall. Uh, so, this is pretty much you can, you're gonna rip this open for about or however much, 50, 75k, whatever. I'm not gonna rip it with a bunch because I already have a bunch of cards in my binder and I have enough to do. It. So, right here, must superstars, those are good. That's about a 1.5k profit because uh, those go for about 2k, which is a very nice little, you know, little flip. Pays for the next three packs. 
a bunch of gold. So that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna rip it up with all those decks and get gold or get a players. And then we're gonna go do some certain sets. So let's go and hop into the sets. Alright, so the first set you're gonna do is you're gonna go here into the exchange sets. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna exchange all of your low silver schools into high silvers. And then you're gonna change all your high silvers into low gold. Sorry, you're gonna hop into here real quick. Put them all in. What I would recommend is uh definitely go ahead and put them all in and then open up all the packs at once it's the fastest way in my opinion so you can just put them in right here go double y go like this and then go ahead and pop those bad boys in let it go in and then go and open up your packs. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh do all the packs and meet you guys when i do have all of my made uh i will have way less packs than if you opened up around 50 to 75k if you open up about 50 to 75k you're hoping for about 20 to 40 of these packs um that's usually kind of what you want if you have less it kind of means you actually had a pretty good uh pack luck uh as you go in and get a bunch of low silvers which is the minimum uh but low silvers are actually kind of could be the most profitable things depending on what you do pull in these packs so i'm gonna go ahead, uh finish these packs i'll catch you guys when i have them done so i tell you guys what you're kind of looking for to pull out of these all right so you see we got seven of these so what we're looking for is power-ups specifically 68 overall power-ups uh there are some of them that go for a ridiculous amount uh, this will be a super good method when the new power-ups do come out, which be, should be sometimes either Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, if you guys are seeing them, they already come out. You guys should be hopping on this method. I'm going to be doing this method, even with the amount of coins I do, because the new power-ups, when they first drop, go for about 100 to 150k a pop. Uh, and these are going to be super good power-ups. I would definitely recommend doing this uh, with power-ups. So it doesn't seem like we're getting very lucky with the power-ups. Uh, if not, it's really not a big deal. Obviously, I only have seven of these packs. If you have uh, 20 to 30 to 40 of them, you're most likely going to pull some good power-ups. Uh, if you don't, again, it's not the end of the world because you're still probably going to make coins because of how easy it is to make coins off this method. Uh, it's just it's super effective, especially when you do other stuff with the other cards we're going to get. You put them to sets to make more profit. As we do not pull a power-up in that, which is which is not the uh, most ideal situation. But we're news, we're gonna put all those high silvers into the low gold exchange. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and meet you guys when we have all of the packs for those. All right, so sadly we did not get any power-ups in our low golds uh, or our high silvers, but it's okay because you're still gonna be able to make profit on this method, especially when you open up more of them. I obviously, this is just random cards I have in my binder. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, after you do that, right, you're gonna go to the harvest exchange set. all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the exchange sets and the harvest section all right then you're gonna go to this gold harvest player you're gonna turn in one high gold and one low gold to get yourself a harvest player these harvest players go for about 2k uh each high gold goes for about i would say 700 coins uh and each low goes for about 500 so again you're definitely making profit when you do that it's about 1.3 and then you're getting a card that goes for about 2k so not very good or, or pretty good uh little ratio so you're going to put all your high gold except for a couple i'm gonna go over those in a second but you can put all your high golds and your low golds into this and eventually what's going to happen for the most time if you already don't have a bunch of high golds you're going to run out of high golds i'm going to show you guys the next thing you're going to do for just your low golds but what you're going to do right here right so two uh what you're going to do for this is if you don't want to put in a couple of these high golds all right you don't want to put in not superstars obviously you want to put in uh case keenum uh, you don't want because he is a harvest player. You always don't put harvest players in. You don't want to put any players for the little power up symbol. You can see the little uh, purple box that has a power up symbol. Don't put those in. And then you don't want to put any fullbacks. I don't know if I have any fullbacks. But like right here, John Brown, power up symbol. Don't put them in. Uh, I'm trying to see if I have any fullbacks. I don't. I might not. But if you don't have a full, if you have a fullback, do not put them in. Fullbacks do go for more. Everyone else is fair game. Two of the weeks, uh, most feared, zero chill. All of those are two of the week. Are all those are fair game? Just don't put in any card with power up. Don't put any card with a my hero and don't put or my superstar and don't put any harvest players. So that's what you're gonna do. Now, when you run out of low or when you run out of high golds, because it's gonna happen because those are the you're not gonna pull as many of those as you can pull low gold you want to go over here into the archive Ooh, and you're gonna go to the month superstar set all right and you're gonna go to this 370 74 to 177 to 78 same kind of deal you're gonna turn all your low golds into here until you're out of low golds again same thing with this don't put any of a power up don't put any fullbacks i think i don't think anything else really uh goes for anything don't put fullbacks don't put cards with power ups and this again these are each going for about 500 coins so 500 times 3 is 1.5 and these also sell for about 2k so you're just turning a little bit extra profit per thing so as you're making less things you have to sell so that's pretty much the get a player method you're going to rinse and repeat that method until you pretty much get up to around i would say 200 250,000 coins uh it's a very simple method but you guys should know if not uh yeah all right so if you want to head and skip the head welcome uh to the part where if you have around 300k coins and you're trying to get up to that sweet uh 800 to a million to do other methods 
welcome. I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that. So first thing is get some training. That is, I feel like that's the cornerstone of every single method is get training. Uh, I already have training, obviously. The best way to get training uh, at your price range, go ahead and go 97 Theme Builders. Try to get it for around 100K right now. Uh, if you guys have seen this on Monday, Tuesday, try to get it for like 110 to one. Yeah, I would say 110. Try to get it one for 110. Go around posi through positions and try to snipe it like that. All right. So what this is going to do with this is the theme diamond to set piece. So what you're going to do is after you went ahead and bought your 97, you're going to have about 48K training. Uh, so what you're going to do, you're going to open up all around, say, all 48K in this pack, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, not bore you guys. I'm going to be pretty much fast forwarding this so you guys can see. I'm going to go from 1. what 2.184 million to about 2.1 four uh million so it'll be around 40 uh is k so i'm gonna do that you guys are gonna see it just sped up you can play some music and i will be back when i have opened up all these packs All right, so this is my last pack. Uh, my luck was, I would say, pretty good. I think these packs have are they give out pretty solid overall. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a couple stuff. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna go to your item binder. You're gonna go to all your newest, so you can see all the cards that you did pull. You guys are technically gonna have a little bit more coin or a little more car little bit more cards than I do because I did not open up um, a 48k. I think I went around 40k. But you see, you get uh, what 5, 10, 15, 20. I got 25 pulls, all right? So 25 packs, pretty solid right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna literally quick sell anything above an 80, so 87 and above, except you see like these harvest elites, these harvest elites go for more. So you do not sound like this. Uh, Andrew Whitworth, there's Cortland Sutland, there's also a Shaq Thompson. 87 plus harvest players do not quick sell. Do not quick sell, all right? Let me just make sure to say that. Also, you can, if you want, look up these team of the weeks but they usually don't ever go for more yet you see like 4.5 so just go ahead you you can do is you can go ahead and quick sell those so you're gonna quick sell pretty much everything 87 87 and above so anything 87 and above unless it's a harvest player right so you get 90 you get an 88 right here another 889 i feel like i got more than that let me just look let me just make sure uh oh an 88 right here oh not the 86 88 all right so in our about 40-ish K training back, we already got half our training back on quick selling that, so we got about 18K back. So now we have all of these to do, or what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these into a certain set. So we did get a lot of actual cards, and we can do completely a lot of sets. But first, you would usually wanna go ahead and sell your harvest players. So you put 100K into this so far, right? So these are going for about 11K a pop. So you already made 22K back. So right now you're down 20. Uh, okay training, but you are up around 20,000 coins. You're trying to make your coins back and then make profit Obviously, all right, that's kind of I feel like kind of straightforward So you're gonna go ahead and sell your two harvest elites that you did pool uh, these go for about uh, 11k each. just just to make sure I'm just gonna check and see if he goes for a little more I don't think he does but he does have a power so he does uh, no, so they each go for about 11k a pop so that's 22k back so you've already made 22 of your initial 100,000 investment uh, and we also have about half of our training back of our investments. So this is about uh, 50k worth of uh, cards, uh, technically, because you have you spent half like your training to get these cards. So what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna put these into a certain set. So you're gonna put them into the Super Bowl 83 plus present player. So why this is a good? This is a little 
let me be honest this method's a little more risky than get a player but you can pull 96s out of this and they come out not terribly rare so as you can pull 93s 91s and stuff like that and the 96s do go for about 160k you might be able to pull tyree kill and sherman i'm not 100 sure on that but you might be able to uh what you're gonna do it takes what it takes is 180 to 82 183 to 84 and then 185 to 86 as you can see it's exactly what we have so we're gonna have to put all these in to the 83 plus super bowl so obviously there is risk involved because you you could pull an 83 and you would lose coins and you, you pulled uh and i think there's an, a couple I, I have a couple right here those are okay, those are free agents that's a different method uh pretty much what you're looking for is 87 plus if you do pull an 87 you did actually make profit i don't know why it backed out right there but you do make profit because the super bowl cards do go for more coins than regular cards uh if you pull an 87 you make profit so all you're looking for is an 87 all right that's not a super high point thing to pull if you pull an 89 a 91 a 93 heaven forbid a 96 you're making a ton of coins so what i'm gonna do dude what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these uh cards into the sets as much as i can and i'll catch up with you guys when i have all of the packs <clears throat> all right so i went ahead and complete all this and you see we do have these leftovers right here there's two things you can do with these if you don't have a lot of training and you just want to go ahead and quick sell them to get more training back you can do that i would hold, honestly recommend those because you'll be doing this more just hold on to the cards um and you're gonna pretty much just put them into sets in future time uh, but eventually you are going to have a lot of 80 to uh, 81s that you give up there. I actually put one in the playoff set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that out and put in the Super Bowl. I think we have around four or five packs, uh, which is going to be good because hopefully if we get some good luck, we could possibly make a lot of coins. And if we don't have super good luck, we could possibly just make, I don't know, around evenish. Uh, so I keep putting, I kept putting in that playoff set like nonstop. You see my chart come disconnected so much, which is being so annoying. I did order a new one, so hopefully that will come in. I think it's supposed to come in tomorrow or today. I uh, hope it comes in today. <laughs> so we're going to go to the Super Bowl. Put our last 84 that we do have into this. Uh, if you don't know, you just want to know what it is. It's a Super Bowl present. Uh, and you want to go down to right here. If you guys want to do it that way. Uh, the reason I wasn't is because I have a bunch of 83 and 84s uh, and stuff like that extra on my buyer. So I'm just going to put that Chris Harrison. There's one that we pulled. So bang. So that's our last 83 plus. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. Uh, so right now we made back around 20K training. And we also already made back 22,000 coins. Uh, so what our goal is right here is we have four of these. So we have four packs right here. We're trying to pull something that could possibly help us get back our coins. So 83 plus most of the time, 83 is the minimum. 83s are big L's. Uh, 87s again, like I said, 87s are pretty much breaking even slash making profit a little bit. Uh, pretty much you want 87s every single time. 85, that's not what you want. 85, you do lose some, but you don't lose a ton. And you can put the 85s back into the set if you really want to. As we pull 285s right there, man. All right, so this is definitely not exactly what we were hoping for. And we pull another one right here, 85. So we got really bad luck right there. But those 85s still go for uh, enough to where we have we're not we're not going to lose too much. All right, we're not going to lose too much. So we made about 20k training of our initial. Uh, I only spent 40k. So let's say 40k training investment. We already made 20k back. Uh, we also made 22,000 coins back because uh, those two harvest players did sell. Now, we also have these extra ones right here. So, we did quick sell and we could. We would get back another about 2,000. So, we're about 22,000. So, we're about 20,000 coins made back of our 100,000. And we still have about 20K training. Uh, these go for about 6K a pop. So, you can go ahead and put those up for 6K. And then, I'm pretty sure the 985s go for about, what, 4K, 5K, I think. 4 or 5K, one of the two. Uh, around there. They go for about oh they go about 3k so these are oh well these are you can put this up for about 4k uh you do want to oversell so let's just say 3.5 they would definitely sell for 3.5 so seven uh this is about 10.5 this is about another 15. so we have about we've made back we sold all of this right we sold all of these super bowls and we got unlucky we got super unlucky on this all right usually you get well, out of four packs you pull hopefully a couple 87s at least an 89 you put these all you quick sell all of these right you're gonna make about let's say seven ten you're gonna make about i don't know 18k and then the two harvests was 22 uh so 18 plus 22 uh is about what 40k right no 20 30k so you made 30k coins back and you have about 22,000 training so right that, that was a kind of an l of a reroll but obviously you get luckier on your theme diamonds and you get luckier on your super bowl 
like I said, this is a kind of a lucky method, but it definitely does work if you do it more and more often. Uh, eventually, you're going to strike gold and you're going to get very lucky. Uh, but if you don't really want to risk your coins to get a player method that I talked about earlier in the video, that's pretty much all the methods. And then once you do get up to higher coins with using the Super Bowl method, go ahead and check out my other video with the free agency method. That's what you're going to do right now. That's why I have so much training. That is the best method in the game right now. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you go hit that subscribe button down below. Is my little face right there, as well as there's two other videos on the screen now. Go click one of those, as well as click the like button down below and leave a comment down for me. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.